Uh, could you tell us about the AR5 uh, unmanned air vehicle? Sure. Uh, the AR5, the Takeover AR5, uh, is this aircraft right behind me, and it's uh, a maritime patroller uh, unmanned. So basically, what it does, it's designed to do maritime surveillance missions, and we were able to fit in a very small package all the capabilities that are usually available in a much larger system. So we were able to carry, besides all the optical and infrared sensors, maritime radar, a SAR and especially uh, high bandwidth SATCOM. And it's got long endurance? So the R5 flies for about 20 hours, uh, depending on what sensors you carry on board. So it allows us to cover large areas and effectively do wide area uh, maritime surveillance. And on the screen behind us is live footage from one that's operating in the Atlantic, is it? Yes, exactly. So every day during the show, uh, we are having uh, the plane in the air during, doing real missions. Uh, today's we're doing, today we're doing fisheries inspection and we're live streaming it to the, to the stand over here. And uh, what's the production like or how many aircraft have you got and what's the future? So currently we have the capability to produce two of these per month. Uh, and we, are, we intend to in increase that rate because we're having a tremendous, a tremendous market re uh, response from the market. And this will um, complement the manned maritime patrol aircraft? Oh, of course. So this is meant to be an asset that can uh, complement the existing capabilities, both from uh, vessels, so ships, and manned aircraft. So it sits in the middle, uh, filling in the gaps that the, the authorities feel. And it is truly multi-mission? It can do homeland security, fishery protection? Oh, definitely. So. Uh, we're both using it for civilian type of applications, like for example uh, pollution monitoring, uh, as well as more military applications uh, when you're surveying a certain area or doing, for example, anti-terrorist anti uh, uh, operations. Uh, so definitely it can be used as uh, in, in both worlds. And it could be operated off a ship? So the AR-5 can be operated off a ship uh, whether or not it it's launched and retrieved on a ship. So if you're talking about a big aircraft carrier, for sure it can be operated from there because we operate our, out of very small runways. Uh, but it's very easy in the same way that we're operating it from here, we could operate, it could be operated from a ship even if it takes off and lands on land. And it's got an all-weather capability? Uh, yes, for sure. For, so it's fully marinized. So we can uh, operate on all-weather conditions uh, with rain, uh, etc. So in high winds. And you launched it at Farnborough 2018? Yes, we're very pleased to be, to be doing that. So we just launched it this uh, yesterday actually, uh, but it's been in operation since the end of last year. So uh, we're very happy to finally being able to bring it to the public.